idea Virgo this is a love reading a prediction for cancer season June 21st to July 22nd 2020 with me Queen of Cups Tarot this will be a love reading for Virgo Sun Moon rising sign and Venus Vedic or tropical the reading can go both ways the drama is the same but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe so when I tell you that this side is you it might as well be the person or the situation you are dealing with. So use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading for you. And if you need more information or help after you have listened to this reading, you can turn to the love readings for Gemini season that is up. Or you can check out the pick a card and near personal readings on the first page of my channel. Click the headline of each playlist to see all the videos that the playlist contains. And I'll start shuffling your cards. And I use the Golden Universal Tarot with Roberto De Angelis. And when I open your deck here, I see Knight of Swords in the reverse together with the Sun. So it might come in a little bit troublesome energy in your life, but you will be able to see this clearly and handle this with the knowledge that you have managed to uh, <laughs> to gather for yourself. Uh, so I think um, it's a white horse and a white horse. So I think people have good intentions, uh, but sometimes even if people have good intentions, uh, they are too, uh, too kind of ignorant or too um to uneducated to know that they are are behaving in a in a less than good way uh, so it might be that you will also have to tell them and kind of educate this energy a little bit so i call the divine with love and light and here we have the three of swords with the knight of swords in the reversed so um you have been hard broken before and and this energy have the uh, have um, it's a possibility that they will try to break your heart again not not by intentions but um, uh, I think this person is also traumatized and because they are also traumatized uh, they might act in, in in stupid ways okay so because when we protect ourselves and protect our own vulnerability we might uh, do things that to distance ourselves or to kind of win over the other person or uh, to put ourselves in a safer position than they are in uh, so uh, I think this is what's going on with this person that they um, they are trying to avoid heartbreak and that's why they are coming on on a little bit like lopsided okay so it can be Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, it's air both here, but it can be any person that has the tendency to uh, try to be very logic, but actually acting a little bit insane. <laughs> okay, so I'm not saying that this is typical for air signs, but it's typical for these two cards in combination coming in the reverse like this. So uh, I call the four archangels. And here we can see uh, what's what you, what you're advised to do about this energy. If you even if there's a lovely person, you know, a nice, intelligent, bright, charming person, uh, and they are, are behaving in ways that are unfair or unbalanced towards you, uh, you need to tell them. You need to put them straight. Okay, don't fear the consequences like you would lose them or anything like that. It's much better much better having them. Um, with them accepting your boundaries uh, than having them uh, with they always stepping over your boundaries so if you don't tell them and and you will keep them they it won't be worth keeping and if you lose them maybe you're better off sometimes rejection is God's protection and here you kind of need to reject them a little bit or at least their behavior it seems and it's very rushing energy might be a person that wants things to move really quick but haven't really thought it through or they're just trying to cover up for some old heartbreak so be careful also of people that haven't really been done mourning their previous person so that they come in and trying to have you as some kind of rebound uh, because um, uh, this is not going to end uh, end well for either one of you so 
uh, and you don't want to be someone's comfort okay so i call the six elements and here we have uh, the emperor together with the knight of swords so it's definitely like a male masculine element it doesn't have to be a male per se it can be a female having this kind of masculine energy but it's someone that stubbornly believe that they are right and they will go on doing the wrong thing with this presumption thinking that they are right and it's not much you can do to wake them from this coma here <laughs> so they are going to rush in the wrong um, in the wrong direction forcefully uh, believing that and convincing themselves that they have understood or understood the truth but really they they will not understand a thing so if you feel like a person has misunderstood you or that um, uh, they have um, kind of get everything uh, wrong um, you can do some things to kind of sort it out but some people when it comes to emperor here together with this it's it's very stubborn so it's like they have decided upon misunderstanding you uh, so they want to misunderstand you maybe so they can be a martyr or so they can convince themselves that they are right or they can convince themselves to continue in the wrong direction so just let them and see this uh, steamroller you know steam through your life just get out of the way and let this steamroller pass through and and don't mind that energy that much even if it's a lovely person intelligent uh, here it can feel like this is the one but if this person is acting in ways you can't accept you just need to let them roll on through okay and just get out of the way so you don't don't get uh, squeezed or squished in the process okay so six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading uh, for my dear Virgo viewers so I want my dear Virgo to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny okay so I saw two cards coming forward uh, while I was shuffling more intense and it was nine of swords and nine of cups so I think even if it hurts, you know, remember your needs, what it is that you need. And if the person can't provide these needs uh, for you, um, you kind of need to accept um, that it hurts uh, and, and continue moving on towards, you know, your real dream. Uh, try to not uh, uh, compromise too much or accept breadcrumbs from people. So I will tune into your video here for a few seconds. Your situation in cancer season to be correct. Okay. So this is the new bottom of the deck and it's a six of cups in the reversed. Uh, so you might feel when this energy come rushing in in cancer season that well this will be it this will be the day it happens but uh, try to try to be a little bit more uh, logic in this situation because it might be that it looks this way but it's not going to be that way six of cups in reverse no fixing of the old issue kind of a chance to fix it but someone is failing i'm guessing the knight of swords in the reverse and the old bottom of the deck it's um, uh, the world card so it seems like you have some kind of final test to do together with this uh, uh, knight of swords energy coming rushing in and thinking that they can fix your life and their life but maybe just making a mess so be a little bit careful uh, give people chances yes but uh, when you started to see this uh, uh, person acting strange um, ask them communicate what is happening and uh, see if they can change their ways and uh, if not figure out if this is really the relationship that will uh, fulfill your 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 needs or if you're always going to feel like something is missing then it's maybe better to uh, to say thank you and move on so this is uh, the what's on your mind about the person most on your mind and this is the situation 
with said person. This is what's on their mind about you and this is your feelings towards them. This is the emotional bond between you and this is their feelings towards you. This is um, uh, your behaviors and attitudes towards them and this is um, the outcome for cancer season, not forever, but for cancer season and this is um, uh, their behaviors and attitudes. I'm talking about you here, but as I said in the beginning, uh, you might as well be on this side, so use your own intuition. So this is the situation and we have the emperor, so it's a, like an issue or something going on with the masculine element. And since we have gotten this card uh, twice, last it came with the knight of swords in reverse, we will now see um, clarification. And we have shared the love, so it's it's a masculine energy that wants to come in and share the love, but as we have seen uh, when I shuffle the cards, they might have a, um, a low capacity on how to do this. So maybe share the love also means uh, that you might have to uh, guide them to what love is and be very strict. This is not love. This is how not how love works and not give them... Um, attention or rewards when acting in a negative way and when they do the good thing the thing you want then you can pet them a little bit better on the head uh, so good <laughs> so it's like click training a dog <laughs> a little bit and this is uh, what's on your mind about the person most on your mind and it's a seven of swords so you don't want to be a victim to the games and plays from this person anymore or males in general or people acting like this it can be females acting like this as well uh, it just shows the masculine side inside of us that maybe wants to protect um, protect ourselves towards the world and putting ourselves in a uh, somewhat uh, elevated position so we will be on top and everyone else will you know, uh, fall on our plan here. <laughs> so both males and females can, can do these kind of things. But um, here you kind of feel like you're not going to let this person's game backfire in their face. So this is a good decision. I like it. Uh, it shows that um, you are no longer a victim to people acting in um, in strange ways if you can't um, if you can't understand their behavior then something is fishy and there's a game or a, some kind of plan some kind something is off you know the person hasn't good intentions so um or they have uh, the best intentions but they don't know how to behave uh, in these kind of situations so they get scared and and try different um manipulations and and have plans for how you are going to react to certain things and so it's a person trying to act very logic but actually just messing it up and you have kind of identified it with the seven of swords in reverse so i think you are better now on identifying when people are acting like jack asses and you can tell them graciously okay so this is what's on their mind about you and uh, we have <laughs> the king on the throne here the knight the king of of um, the earth king pentacles king <laughs> I, I can't speak right now uh, so um what they feel is um, that they they want to show you a real man because they feel like you are somewhat intimidating maybe they feel a little bit like you are out of their league uh, so that might be why they are trying to act accordingly to a certain vision that they have about what a person that you might want should be like so um it's an element of um, of of warmth and generosity with this person so you shouldn't rule them out entirely but it's not going to be easy okay they might want to offer you something stable uh, but it's um um it's an, a little bit an insecurity in the bottom of it all okay so this is uh, the bond between you two and it's a three of cups in the reverse so three of cups in the reverse might mean that this is someone else's husband comes like husband twice so they seem to want to offer you like a committed relationship but the three of cups in the reverse is not committed relationship it's it's um uh, 
the insecurities of dating or how many people are the other person dating and how many people do I need to satisfy my, my, my need on coming up on top and being elevated to not miss out or to never ever, uh, you know, be heartbroken because you remember from the shuffling that this person is also traumatized and heartbroken. So they might put themselves on a very secure um, level to to see to that they don't get heartbroken. But with the Trio of Cups, what I actually feel, I, I felt I need to warn you about this with multiple relationships. But what I uh, felt like the, when I just turned and flipped the card is that people are tired of dating or tired of relationships not working out. So it's a desperation with this person. They want to do the best they can and they want to share the love. This is Trio of Cups, Trio of Cups. Uh, they might not know how to do it and you might be also uh, kind of overly suspicious because of what you have been through but it as I told you it also have made you more aware and you know able to not let yourself be put in a stupid situation where you will get your heart broken so this is not something you should uh, try to overcome uh, you can keep it but also have an open mind about this this person. Um, we are not perfect. The other person will most certainly not be perfect. Uh, but sometimes there's a foundation to grow something uh, beautiful, even if both people have a negative experience from the past. Okay, so this is your feelings <laughs> towards them. You're very prepared to just send them on their way, you know, one little mistake and this person will be out. And this is kind of what they sense uh, about you here what's on their mind is that uh, you're a little bit hard to get close to and that you have very high standards and things like that uh, so that's a good thing you know that's something they will respect hopefully okay so this is their feelings and we have a queen of wands yeah they are a little bit intimidated because they feel that you have you know all your ducks in a row uh, you know what you want, uh, you have certain expectations, you have a certain standard, uh, but it seems like they want to live up to it because they have seen something special with you uh, that makes them tired, maybe all dating other people. They don't want to do this anymore. They want to give you this, what they have, you know, tried to give maybe too many people, but seems like they want to give you uh, this. But there's some kind of dissonance here. Uh, between you two and I guess it's this with both people being kind of scared sacral chakra uh, I'm getting this vulnerability you know you have nothing really protecting uh, your stomach and the sacral chakra over the heart at least there's some ribs <laughs> but here it's just it's very uh, fragile so I think you both feel very fragile at this point and people might act uh, stupid and weird and um, and you don't seem to have any tolerance with people acting stupid and weird. So I'm guessing this person, even if they have the best intentions, they will do something uh, that you will judge as um, not dating material, not uh, husband-wife material. And um, um, well, we'll see what will go on here. This is your behaviors and attitudes. Well, you are going to elevate yourself as well. You are not going to be uh, like a sitting duck and let someone just shoot you. <laughs> you are going to take command in this situation and lead and steer the ship to where you want it to go. Uh, so you take control and that's, that's a good thing. You will communicate very clearly about what you want and you will also, I feel, give them chances to uh, correct their ways. But if they are not doing so... Uh, you won't um, have much patience with them. Remember the white horse that came a lot in the beginning? You don't mean any harm with this. You just don't, don't want to waste time with the wrong people. But it seems like you will give them a chance with communicating clearly about your deal breakers, which seems to have become a topic here in Kansas season that there's some deal breakers. Um, and uh, this is their behaviors and attitudes. And um, uh, we have this um, um, alchemist here, temperance card in the reverse, Sagittarius energy. This is Aries and Capricorn there. 
on your side is Scorpio and we have Aries also there. Uh, cancer Cancer. So uh, what I'm seeing here is that they are being very drawn to you. They're very attracted to you, but they also feel very scared and insecure and like this relationship is unbalanced. And I'm thinking they feel like that because they are kind of trying to offer you something for real, but you identify that you feel like they don't have the tools or you don't trust them, like the Knight of Swords energy in the beginning. Or you might have bad experience from the Knight of Swords energy. And here it comes in another type of energy uh, that would want to, you know, give you something more tangible, but they feel like you are intimidating with your snappy responses or your um, quick way to show them the door <laughs> when when they're doing one little thing wrong. Uh, so um, it's not easy this because uh, you have been through a lot of things um, that have made you almost yourself, you have become the Knight of Swords because of the Knight of Swords that you have met. And I'm not saying that you can trust this person. I don't see that you can trust this person. I just see that they want to be trustworthy. They have a want of uh, offering you something that's stable. Uh, but it, it seems like there's complications for this, mainly because um, they are fragile and, and you are very tough. So uh, the outcome here, four of swords in the reverse. So I'm feeling like you will scare each other off and you won't really stop thinking about each other but uh, it will be hard to continue uh, the relationship because um, um, I I'm guessing this person feels like they have put in their head in the lion's um, den <laughs> or <laughs> their cage and just, uh, you know, please eat my head. Uh, and you say, I will gladly eat it. Uh, <laughs> but only if you've proven to not be a good person. Uh, and they don't see that soft side of you. You are very soft. You feel very fragile, but it's very rough defense here. And it comes from what you have been through. And what you have been through has given you wisdom. So you're not to throw the wisdom out the window. Maybe you just need someone that's a little bit less easily scared. Okay, someone that will stick with you, even if you ha have... Um, uh, bitter experiences from the past. They have bitter experience from the past as well, but um, they might for for. Uh, I think they they have a little bit more stability or a little bit more sense of self. So they don't they don't feel as intimidated as you do, but they they feel intimidated by you, but not by love per se. But by you, they feel intimidated. So I will see uh, an advice card for you what to do with this situation here. Uh, and it's a nine, the hermit. So um, rather trust yourself than the other person and rather sacrifice the relationship than sacrificing yourself and go inside, meditate a lot uh, to find the answers. Um, it's very easy when you're high strung like this to read in the wrong things, you know, make mistakes in the situation. So before you jump into conclusion, uh, meditate on it, try to connect with your spirit guides and ask them what you can do in this situation. Uh, you can even go in really deep meditation or try um, speaking uh, in um, in your, uh, there's usually a recording device on your phone, for example, you can speak into that and, and talk about the situation before you run and talk about it with this person. Uh, and you can see what you come forward with. Maybe you just need to unload um, the feelings that you have here that might be a, re a remedy from older situations. And you can also, uh, you can also, <laughs> I got the advice, uh, the other day that you can create like a fake account uh, for this other person. It can be either maybe just in your notes on your phone, or maybe you actually create a fake account that no one else can see. And um, you write to that account all the crap that you want to say. So you don't have to scare this person off thinking that you have, um, that you are so easily irritated by them, or it's so easy for you to just drop them you know, like this, like a hot potato, and that you're so much in control that snap and they will be gone. 
Uh, so because it seems like you could have a chance with this person, they, it seems like they have an interest for you. It's just that it dies off. Uh, 13, is, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4, 4. So we have a little triangle here where you are kind of taking over the lead as being the emperor because uh, you don't want to have, have to deal with any kind of bullshit anymore. Uh, and they they feel a little bit more fragile. They were hoping for love and got like really... Um, uh, sharp teeth <laughs> instead uh, so it's not that they are intimidated by strong women I don't feel like that they're just in intimidated by uh, maybe the rut that you are holding or um, I'm getting the sun here again we got the sun in the beginning with the knight of swords that you were able to see through any bullshit uh, so they they feel very naked maybe when they they're with you um, so and that's okay if they can you can communicate in a nice way towards each other uh, maybe because this is a blocking communication so if you can communicate in a way that's uh, that's also empowering for this person uh, maybe you're on to something because this is the highest card for love this is the second highest card for love this is the alchemic wedding the holy matrimony so it seems like there's at least uh, room for spiritual growth uh, in this situation um, but um, um, it's it's like the lion and the lamb a little bit <laughs> and uh, they feel like you will eat them for for breakfast okay so my dear Virgo I hope this was helpful and uh, thank you so much for watching and if you like my content and want to support my channel you can do so not only by watching but also by liking commenting subscribing and sharing my videos you can also donate to my channel through the link in the description box or make google donate by clicking my ads or watch them for 30 seconds or to the end of the ad whichever comes first that is keeping my humble revenue up so i can make more content like this for you on this channel Thank you so much in advance. I'm truly grateful for my wonderful, loving and supporting viewers. And your amazing comments always make my day. So until next time, take really good care and bye bye.